good, uh, I don't even know if I can call it afternoon because I got out of town really late. I think you hike until like four o'clock. It's like almost five now. Cause I always like to get on the trail a little bit before I do the video. But yeah, I did. I, uh, yeah, I said I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay in town or get back on trail. Well, obviously I ended up staying in town. Um, because I met up with a group of folks, other hikers, and uh, started chatting with them. They're like, yeah, we're getting a room together. And I was like, well, you know, you mind if I crash with you? I'll split the hotel with you. You know, I'll even sleep on the floor. I don't really mind. And they're like, yeah, sure. You know, sounds good. Sounds cool. So, you yeah, this hotel, and it's, you know, not the best place ever. It's a uh, little, little dirty, little, uh, little, uh, uh, I mean, it didn't have bed bugs. So, by my book, it was pretty nice because it didn't have bed bugs. But, you know, it was a little iffy. It wasn't the best place ever. So, we're all sitting there and I'm like fully prepared to sleep on the floor and they're kind of talking about how they didn't like it and whatever. And, uh, step outside, come back, and they're like, hey, we got another room. I'm like, what? They're like, not only another room, but we got it at a different hotel down the street. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean you got a different hotel? Like, what are you gonna do with this room? And they're like, well, we're kind of, it's already paid for, so we gotta keep it. But yeah, we were just gonna go over to the next place. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, um, I see nothing wrong with this place. I'm gonna stay if I can just pay my same like share of the price, you know, that I was paying before. And they're like, yeah, totally fine. We're gonna leave. You get the room to yourself. So I got a room to myself for 20 bucks. And I was so pumped to have my own, you know, own room for that cheap. So I had to stay and then, you know, wait until the very last minute to check out and everything, which kind of messed me up because there's a, a bus that you can get on to take hike that'll take you to uh, the trailhead that runs in the area. So a lot of the, because of that, a lot of the trail angels and stuff don't give rides Monday, Wednesday, Friday when the bus runs. And uh, yeah, so I got out of town at like 2.10 and that was when the bus was leaving town. It was either like 7.50 or two in the afternoon. I was like, I don't wanna get up that early. So hung around town for a bit and then Got back on trail pretty late, but pretty much no matter how I swung it, based on what I wanted to do, it's gonna take me um, three days of hiking to get to Kennedy Meadows. Um, I could have done like 225s, but I didn't really wanna do that. I'd rather do, oh, a couple, you know, pretty much gonna be a Nero, a full day, and then like a Nero-ish. So, it's gonna be pretty nice. Woo! Been going uphill for a while, getting tired. So, yeah, I'm gonna kinda, I think it'll be like a 12 mile day, so I should get there right around dark, since I started so late. And then, uh, yeah, after that, I'm not really sure. Uh, really just gonna hit the next water source, camp. Bust out some miles tomorrow. Camp again, get into Kennedy Meadows. And probably just, I think I'm at double zero in Kennedy Meadows. Seems like a good spot. There's not much there, but celebrate the beginning of the Sierra with uh, a little bit of rest. So yeah, I will see y'all later. Uh, you know, once I get into camp and uh, that's about it for now. So till then. Good morning y'all. I didn't do a video last night because it's like right after I took the, uh, you know, the first video, um, kind of got into camp pretty soon after that. I only did like nine and a half miles. I was kind of planning on doing like 12 to a water source and then uh, saw some nice campsites and I just said, nah, uh, I'm done hiking for the day. Um, 
which is what I always love about hiking because if I decide that I don't want to hike anymore, I can just stop, find the next camp spot, just lay my stuff down there. And uh, yeah, it's exactly what I did. And it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't very far past where I did the other video. And right now I'm just kind of switching back down this, this mountain and some desert mountains right now. And still getting towards the Sierra. I'm two days away about, um, probably about 35 miles away by trail right now. And should be able to get a real good view um, if not by the end of the day today, then real and early tomorrow morning, right before I get into Kennedy Meadows. And uh, I'm excited. The trail is been kind of boring. Wow, my lighting is horrible, I think. I can't really, there we go, a little better. Um, I'm kind of losing motivation, it's weird. Just kind of, I don't know, just kind of keep, they keep going forward. Just because that's what you do when you're hiking. But it's kind of just taking the joy out of it. The views have been the same. Granted, they are still very spectacular. Um, which I, I don't know, sometimes I guess I just need to stop and like think about that. But um, it's, yeah, it's just the same thing over and over again. I've been seeing the same thing for, well, been the Arizona Trail and now, I mean, almost a thousand miles. A few little breaks here and there. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I don't want to say it's getting old, but yeah, it's kind of getting old. I just want to get in the mountains. I don't know. Maybe that'll give me a, be the change up that I need and give me a, a new outlook on hiking. You know, it's not like it's, <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody. It's not like I'm going to, you know, quit hiking or get off trail. It's still, you know, even if it's boring, I know. It's better than anything else I would be doing right now. And, you know, um, maybe coming up, like, after the Sierra, if it's still boring, I might, like, take a week off or something. Or, you know, whatever it takes to recalibrate and decide that I missed the trail again get back on it. You know, sometimes you got to do that. Um, so, yeah, just slowly making my way through the last little bit of desert, getting Kennedy Meadows. And that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for the next day and a half. Hopefully I can push a big mile day today and have a bit of a Nero into Kennedy Meadows. Wow, that sun is brutal right now. Uh, go down. There we go. Go the other way. But I will give this view at least to finish it up because, like I said, the views are still really nice. It's just the same stuff that i've been seeing so yeah if anything new happens or i see something cool and uh i'll see y'all later or maybe tonight or whenever you know whenever i decide to video again so see y'all then what's up y'all let me go ahead and take care of the evening video now I'll be hiking pretty late i think um i got like Maybe five or four or five more miles to go. I'm not really sure. It's a water source coming up. That I'm supposed to. Oh, I'm out of breath. It's been a long climb. But I'm going to get there, fill up water, um, and then get to the top of this mountain so that way I got an easy day in the Kennedy Meadows tomorrow. Uh, it's kind of the plan before. It's going to stick to it. And uh, it's a lot easier to execute now because just a little bit ago, about a mile and a half, two miles back, a little road crossing. There's a guy who uh, soboed last year until the trail closed due to fires. And he was doing trail magic. And oh, I love trail magic. There's something special. I th you know, I talked about this a couple days ago about how special trail magic is to hikers. And this is just like... I was kind of down, you know, like I was saying, just kind of down, like not really that motivated, but just getting there and, you know, even just like some fresh fruit, some water and some beer. And, oh, I feel like a million bucks. I feel so much better. You know, trail angels are 
some of the greatest people in the world, if not the greatest people in the world. And oh, just really hit, hit the spot, you know, really made everything feel good to get there. And just, oh, so good. I don't even, I don't know if it's because I'm like hiker brained or just, you know, I just don't really have the words for it, about how nice that is. But yeah, amazing. Love trail magic. Almost done. Well, almost in the Kennedy Meadows. It's about a half a day. And just about done with today. I'm sorry if, you know, you've been wanting to see like the landscape and stuff. And it's just, you know, like I was saying, I'm seeing the same stuff over and over again. And then it does seem like a lot of the times um, I'm kind of getting caught and I can't call it a green tunnel because it's definitely not like AT style green tunnel, but definitely just a lot of trees around, you know, I'll get a quick opening and see something like that, which is nice, but I've seen it a hundred times. So I don't even think about like, oh, hey, you know, I should get a video of that or something. Just kind of forget. So I do apologize for that. Um, the Sierras are coming up, so it's going to be uh, hopefully nothing but landscape videos. I don't even want to see myself in that section. Oh, I'm so excited. But anyway, that's it for the night. I'm just going to try to hopefully get into camp before dark. I should still. And, uh, get in, set up, eat dinner, normal, normal business. And I will see you all in the morning. So until then. Good morning, y'all. This is a glorious day. This is my last day in the SoCal desert. After this, I hit Kennedy Meadows and into the Sierra section. And I'm so excited. I don't know if you picked up on that over like the past week and a half where all I've talked about is the Sierra and finally getting there and being out of the desert. But I'm pumped. I'm so pumped. Getting up in real mountains, seeing views again, Mount Whitney, hopefully, and just, ah, uh, it's going to be probably, I don't, I don't want to say it's not going to live up to my expectations because I think it's going to be the greatest thing ever. And it'll probably just be another day of hiking. So I'm like kind of tempering my brain where it's like, don't get too excited for it because then you'll just ruin it. So that's kind of where I'm at is where I'm like getting myself excited and at the same time bringing myself back down to like, it's not going to be that cool, but I know it's going to be cool. I know it's going to be cool. It's like every person who's ever hiked the PCT or like, like the Sierra is the best section of any trail to hike. I'm so pumped, but yeah, getting into the Kennedy Meadows today, a uh, 15 mile day, pretty easy. Just downhill for like the first like seven and then flat for the last bit of it. And it's not like like jokingly flat, like ah uh, yeah, it's no, it's like flat, flat. Like I'm pretty pretty excited for it. Even the downhill's been pretty mild. So really easy day. After you know pushing yesterday, I got uh to like 26 and a half miles and and uh yeah just just crush miles just so I could have a super easy day today. And I'm so excited. Oh, a couple days off in Kennedy Meadows. You know, hang out. A little bit of partying probably just to give myself a little bit of re relaxation. Eat a lot of food and prepare. That's what I'm going to be doing. Sleeping, stretching. And uh, yeah, so excited. So that's it. Um, I think the only thing in the middle here is there's a, a South Fork Kern River that you can go swimming in. I'm probably gonna go swimming. So I'm really excited about that during the day. And that's like the only thing in the middle. So I'll see y'all either when I get to the river or when I uh, get to Kennedy Meadows. So until then, peace. Trees have opened up. Mountains are getting close. 
Slowly approaching the Sierra. I go over there, I feel like it's just a small taste of what it's gonna be like. Oh, I'm so excited. I almost missed it, but mile 700, let's go. That means that like somewhere well, a little bit back that way, I can't do math right now, was a quarter of the way. So I'm over the quarter of the way down with the trail, 700 miles in, 2.2 to the Sierra. I'm excited, get excited, be excited. It's a great day and I'll see y'all later. So right after hitting mile 700, I'm taking my last steps in the SoCal desert section of the PCT. Oh, just like 10 more, 20 more yards. That's all I got. And then I'm, I think there's like a little bit more desert. I mean, there's definitely desert up north, but SoCal desert section, Especially like kind of the longest section uh, of all the, I think there's like five main ones. But here we are. Boom. 702 miles of desert with a few mountains spread out. But now we go that way, right behind me, into some real legit mountains. Spending the next like, two or three hundred miles pretty much all of it above ten thousand feet and i'm so excited uh, and i just can't hide it that's a horrible joke but i really can't and i'm pumped and oh it's such a good feeling uh, i swear that's to sweat my eyes i'm not actually crying i'm not just bragging or being a being a guy about it <laughs> but i really am excited i i kind of want to want to cry because uh, the desert's been rough it's been tiring and I'm so excited so I'm gonna try and get a hitch into town probably spend a couple days I think I'm just gonna I'm probably just gonna double zero here in Kennedy Meadows relax get my bearings underneath me plan for the miles ahead and I'll see y'all in a couple days